hello youtube friends thanks so much for joining me today again i want to show you guys some of the things that i did and i want to show you guys the results of the last resin in the last video so um this was done the step by step pretty much is you do the cement and i want to talk to you guys about the cement as well uh, let me just put this stuff over here. So, here's the mold. And I just did this one today. And um, and I want to show you this one because, see, it's broken. And I want to tell you guys about this one, how and why it broke. Uh, and I want to do something with this for my um, orchid. But basically, the reason it broke was because I used, ha instead of using one part cement, two parts sand, I used one and one. I kind of wanted to do an experiment. I thought it would be stronger, but Ashley was weaker. So when I went to take it out of the mold, it just broke down. So you can deviate. Um, for anybody that may know how to do the cement, might be able to do a different thing but it didn't work for me so i had to stick to my one part cement two part water oh one part water and two parts sand and uh, i i get the sand as fine as possible then i make the cement so it looks like that in the inside i don't know if you can see it um once I do that then I did this with the resin look how gorgeous it came out I did three I'm gonna make a set of three for my uh, sister and so this set is for her and now the inside I was gonna paint the inside with this material that I have that's kind of supposedly um, make it where it cannot get the water from the inside into the resin outside so i'm gonna do that today and i want to show you how cute this came out so this came out pretty cute so this is the looks of it looks so cute so i'm gonna paint the inside so i can plant the succulent for my sister and I already have the plants set up for her as well. So I love it. This how it came out. So how shiny. And I did, I used some of these to give it. She likes a little bit of a different elevation. So I did that. See over there? All right. Because the thing starts to smell, I decided to put this mask on. So I don't know if you guys can hear me okay. Hello. But I'm putting I'm putting the mask on. And this is the mask I'm using. So I don't even know if this is supposed to be the right mask. Um limited doesn't say. I took out the little paper, so I have no idea what this mask is. Four, but I hate putting masks on because it makes me feel weird but it's starting to smell I guess when you start curing it gives some smell but this is the things that I'm doing with the leftover resin from when I do this this does not take much resin at all it's so interesting so um, I've been having leftover resins so I use uh, any mold I have which has this little design and of course when I go use it I'm gonna cut it and make it perfect but I've been making this with the, my leftover resin and I want to show you guys this look how cute this is the little angel now with this one I had leftover cement so I made it a little bit bigger and I think I'm gonna paint it I'm going to wait until it really cures, and then I'm going to paint it. So I have to find a spot to put this little things. Oh, I got a spot. Let me throw it away. 
went to the Dollar Tree guys the other day and look what they had when I saw this I had to buy all the clear containers they had look it's perfect for this and uh, whenever I have a bunch of them I just can use them so I bought whatever they have in clear so there's a perfect spot for me to put them I have more stuff than I have to place to put and um, I don't know if you guys ever saw I'm sure that anybody that does art has seen it one of those um, closet I think they call dream closet I'm not even sure what they call it but guys there really is a dream closet I was completely in shock how beautiful it is um so let me put all this stuff away let it dry over there i got ten thousand things on my desk i should probably use this over here there you go this one when i did the resin it didn't cover up the corners very well it's all right put it there and this one is there. Now, put this over here. Let this sit. All right, so now while that's drying, I am going to work on this cup. I already cleaned it. Um, but I'm debating what to do with it. I think I want to do, which is going to be an experiment. So let me get my stuff. Hold on. All right. So here's what I was thinking about doing, guys. I bought this mirrors. And pretty much I have no idea what to do with it. Um, I don't even know why I ended up buying it. I just thought it was so pretty. And, and I knew one day I would come up with something. That little piece is almost broken there too. But I hate how they pack these things, you know? Because this is glass, so they should be a little bit more careful, but they are very lousy how they set up. So I was thinking about cutting some, but see, I don't want to do all the way up because, oh, I have to see. Let me see. Put this on. This is how you're supposed to drink it. Now, I probably should do like that, or like that. Look, I think it would be pretty. And then I want to do, see, I don't want to cut nobody's fingers, so I think I'm going to do like that right there and then I'm going to use my knife to cut it there you go now I'm debating if I should do the two and two so let's cut two and two first Oof, this is so um weird to cut it because I don't want to cut my fingers and I also don't want to cut it badly I 
I need to do it here on the corner to see if this is easier. Oh yeah, that's much easier to do it on the corner of the table. So if you have a cut in this, cut it on the corner of the table because it makes it easier to cut it. Alright, so now I have to decide if I'm going to be doing two and two or... There you go. I think two and two probably will be a good idea because they're so little. Uh, maybe not. Maybe one and one. Let me cut one and see. It's so tiny though. Now, I don't know. This is some, I, there's some glue on the back of it. Uh, and I might not need Maybe I need a little hot glue, but maybe not. We'll see. So. All right, so I'm going to cut them all. Oh, yeah, this is definitely better. Yeah, so I'm going to cut them all, and I will get back with you.
Ui. Oi! Already?
Um, so this is how it's looking so far. So I'm not sure if I already taped this, but I think I didn't. So let me get the glitter now. Okay, I want to show you guys what I'm doing as far as the glitter is concerned. I don't want to put the same color because it's going to take away. So I'm going to mix um, some that I had already mixed before. So I'm going to divide this in three. All right, kind of like the same. I want to make sure they are about the same because I want to make sure that they're all the same color. All right, so next I'm going to put a little bit of black. Wow, this is so cute. Look. Um, I wish I had a little spoon for this, but I don't, so I'm just going to use the little, wow, this is a pretty black. I'm going to mix a little bit of black with the gold because I wanted to make it darker. A little bit more. Now, I think I'm going to put a little bit of the diamond dust as well. I just want a different, you know? You know how sometimes you want something different? I don't know if I'm going to like the color at the end. So let's mix and see. I'm making three just because it will be um, easier to mix. So let's see what it looks like. Ah, interesting. Let me see if I can mix them all together so they're all the same color. Look, that looks cute. See? The, the diamond with the black and the gold. Yep, I was able to put it all in one. So hopefully it's going to be enough. But I'm going to... Alright. So I'm going to try to mix it. Mix it really well. I'm gonna use, oops, come back. I'm gonna use the copage glue, which I'm gonna put in a little plate. Let me get a little plate for that. Let me pause while I'm doing that. Okay, so, oops, let's see how this is gonna look. I'm just putting on this little cup a little bit of uh, the copage glue. You can always put some extra if you need to. The reason I like using the little cups is because it doesn't um, mess up the rest of the resin. And I'm using a small brush because I have to make it very carefully. So, and it has to be leveled so you can't put too much. Now, before I do the resin, I want to make sure I clean the glass very well. So I have to be make sure it's that I'm very careful not to paint the mirror. And make sure that it's all perfect. All right. So let me move this guy over there. Now let me throw in some resin to see what it looks like. I overdid it. The good thing is that you can press it to make sure it really gets in. Then you can just pour it right back. I'm probably going to need a new brush. I don't know. Let me get a new brush. I uh, just want to get the new brush to get the excess glitter out of 
the things just to get an idea what it looks like. Um, I don't know if I like this yet. I'll show you guys. I don't know if it's gonna go on me. Of course, it will be clean. Uh, I don't know. It might be pretty. Let me see. What do you guys think? Can you tell? I think it will be pretty. I may have to do two coats of um, glitter. So let me keep on working on this. All right, guys. I want to show you what this step looks like. I'm very pleased with the result so far. The glitter looks beautiful. And um, I mixed bl bl uh, black with um, dust diamond. It looks beautiful. Once I clean up and I resin, I think it's gonna be gorgeous. It's hard to see it on the camera, but I wanna show you guys. It looks gorgeous. I'm gonna let it dry for tomorrow. And then tomorrow, we'll keep working on it. Thanks for watching. God bless you all. And uh, thanks for being part of my channel. Please don't forget to share, subscribe. Uh, send it to your families, friend. Help me grow the channel. I really appreciate. And for those of you who's following my MS journey, uh, tomorrow I got the doctors. So stay tuned, sign up, and I will share with you the next step and also the MS journey. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless you all. Bye-bye.